Uh, just wanted to review the Orc Leap handlebar bag. Now again, this is the biggest one there, which I think is what, 14, 15 litres or something. Um, 15 litres this one is, just in a little booklet there. Um, it's a medium, they also do a small which is 9 litres, but again I thought, get bigger, you don't have to put as much in. You can fill it less and just you know turn the turn the sides more. Um, as with all the old stuff, it's got the reflective points on it. The other bags had that too. Um, it's got attachment points left in the centre, and it's got these kind of reinforcement straps. So the way it works, you get these these belt straps here that go around the handlebar. Turn it, they are very big, and then to reinforce it, you get these orange straps that then go on the outside of that to stop the belt from opening up. So that's left and right. Um, and the way it works again, you know, you can actually fill both sides. You can do one side, put stuff in it, seal it, and then do the other side, trying to get as much air out as you can. I'm going to put some air in it just so you can see. So it's kind of got the, the plastic bit along here, so you roll it that way normally. Um, I get some in. So here we are. So you can push for that one and the other side. So. <coughs> yeah, so these sit around the handlebar and then you get a strap that comes with it. Let me show you the spider right now. I might just find another one from another bag. I can find one. Um, basically, the strap goes around here and then around the bike just to stop it sliding backwards and forwards. Yeah, so that goes around the handlebar and just stop kind of doing that when you're when you're cycling, that strap ties it down. And then you've got these straps here that you can um, again, you know, depending on how much stuff you have in it, you can just tighten it. And there's two on the top and the bottom. So that also allows you to um yeah, if you I mean it's got the bungee here again, you can you can just unclip it on the side. But you can put stuff put underneath this and then use that as another strengthening cord to tighten that and hold stuff in place in front of it. The material is the same. Um, like I said before, one, one thing that's a shame that they don't have a, an air valve on there just for you to be able to squash all the air out. Um, they could have easily put one somewhere along the, on the front like they have in the, in the seat pack. But they haven't so I guess you can open one side, try and get air out, open the other side, keep squeezing it and getting out that way. But it would have been nice to see a little air valve somewhere, considering that they have it. And um, on the other bag, it could have easily put on this. So, yeah, it's a nice looking bag. Material, again, it feels very, very robust and thick. And it's 100% waterproof. It's pretty much a dry bag. Well, it is a dry bag. So I've just got some fancy attachment points. They've also put a kind of plastic bar running along from there to there. So, there you go. Um, just to give it some stability when it sits along the the handlebar so you can really tighten it on and you know to keep it steady Um this one is I think it's 50 long if well which doesn't fit in drop bars but if, you mean you don't have to put as much stuff in it you can put stuff in up to here and then it would fit in drop bars so that's why I went for the 15 I thought then I have the option for both put less stuff in and have a, a wider use for it first impressions are very good Um again I will review this as a, a second time once I've used it a couple of times on out and about to then actually know how good it is. And another thing you can call off and do with these, rather than clicking them together, you can go forwards and backwards so they you know they could the, the same. And if you wanted to you can do it this way around. Um away from it, you can it underneath it. And depending on how you how you want to run your I normally just do the, the sides. So. so yeah very simple design. Um loads of space in it and nice fixing points that seem a lot more sturdy than some of the other brands we've only got velcro that loosens so because you've got these straps on top of it which you can see you know they don't just you kind of have to open them up and you have to undo a clip to tighten them so that it really locks in place so once that's tight you know that's not going to move which means the vehicle cannot come undone what it shouldn't do um so yeah first impressions very impressed and i'll let you guys know how i get on once i've used it a few times